Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased price action analysis. Hey guys, welcome back to Uncle Charles' YouTube channel. Some pretty underwhelming price action we've been getting lately. You guys can see on the daily chart here how small the candles are. Let me check the volume. Yeah, pretty low volume. Market's trying to melt back up. Some context to pay attention to that is uh, we recaptured that 554 level, which was a, a previous sell zone that became a, a buy zone. We lost it on June 24th, Monday earlier this week. We recaptured it, and since then, we've had some more updates getting back above the five daily moving average, the five DMA. And today, we closed back above the macro level. Fib level at 546. Okay, very important that we know uh, what the market did today because it, it, it'll lead to the next setup. That's where we make our money. We make our money based on the setups from one setup to the next. And now that we know that we cleared 546 today, we know that as long as above it, 548 or new all-time highs is a possibility okay but because we got the close above 548 we also know that if spy decides to give us a lower high and head back down to give us some type of abc wave to the downside and maybe fill the gap we know that 546 must fail again the market makers are not going to make this easy they're going to test our patience they're going to trap us as much as they can remember guys this is the chop phase so if we are to get the leg down the next leg down from here based on the context that we've been given today 546 and yes once again 544 must fail all right as support and if that happens uncle charters will lean bearish but as of right now if and as long as above 546 today's breakout stays intact and as long as it stays intact i'm favoring we go back to all-time highs all right we i mean overall we are in an uptrend right we are in an uptrend so we'll see what happens all i'm saying is know the levels and you know the setups beforehand so that you can react to it in real time okay because if you try to focus on your prediction it's going to cause you to have some bias and if you have bias you're going to be less likely to be flexible you're going to have less flexibility and if you have less flexibility it's going to be that much harder for you to respect your stop loss and because retail traders don't respect their stop loss that's where we get our butt kicked that's our weakness okay so trade it unbiasedly. Triple Q continuing to give us more upside close just below a fib level that I have here. Around 482-ish. Alright, next resistant level. Fib level is at 484. It must clear to trigger a move higher. Okay? Otherwise, if we break back below 482 and break back below 480, 478 or lower is in play. Below, so, below 478, I would be bear bias favoring a lower leg down either to go back and test this low that we had here on june 24 which was around 473.8 ish or we get that abc wave down and go for that lower low possibly all the way down to 471.3 ish all right look to react guys above 482 and 484 we're bullish below 42 and 480 We'll back test 478 and below 478. I'm favoring lower lows or our previous low to be tested. Tesla. Retesting a previous pivot high that we had on April 29th. Okay. Is this going to be a double top? Is it pull is it going to be pullback time? If it does, 197, 194, and 192 are my support levels. 192 is the fib level. And if those levels fail, bearish you could get a pullback. Maybe form the handle of a cup, but it would be a nice tradable down move. Okay. And if of course if Tesla wants more upside, uh 
got to cancel that double top, which is around 198.9. We'll round it to 199. 199 clear, that's double top canceled, and we could head up higher, up to uh, 200 plus. Possibly what the next Fib level is around 206-ish. So that could be a big possibility, but it has to clear 199. Um, NVDA, after that three-day sell-off, we did get two days of a bounce, but looked like it ran out of strength. Today was a pretty choppy day. It's been a while since I've seen NVDA, NVDA choppy like that. Um, but we do have an inside candle set up here with the chop range being 122.6 to 128. So anything in between 122.6 to 128 is chop and noise. Safe for the scalp. Be quick to take profits. Leave runners up to you. Okay, but if we're talking about a big swing swing tradable move multi-day move gotta break this chart range above 128 i would be bullish in favor 129.4 or higher being tested and below 122.6 i would be bear bias in favor 118 or lower to be tested all right possibly all the way down to 112 to 113 zone it's a gap down there big possibility all right, know the levels and setups and trade it unbiasedly as I always say. Now here's Apple. Look like it's still in consolidation mode. As you guys can see, I got this little pink downtrend line here. Multiple touches, one, two, three. And today we got a fourth touch. So if this is a sign that it's going to still uh, be in correction mode uh, and it's going to the downside, I have support at 213.2. If 213.2 fails tomorrow, bearish look to short. With 211 or lower in play, possibly to 208 or lower. Okay, because if this is a in correction mode, it could retest a previous low, which is in the 208 to 26.5 zone, or give us a lower low, which would break those levels. Either way, it would be a nice tradable uh, short or put for puts uh, to the downside if we lose that level. 213.2 must fail. Otherwise, if we break above 215.5, we break above, that's bullish, that's breakout mode. Put in 217.4 or higher in play, okay? Above 215.5 is breakout mode, guys. AMD still consolidating, as you guys can see. Still flagging out here. Starting to get tight, all right? Still needs to break above 160 uh, and 162 to be bullish, okay? And I think it might be getting there pretty soon. If it does, it's going to be explosive. Be ready to react. And, of course, if we're bearish, it needs to break down 157 uh 155.5 and 154 to trigger a move down 150 or lower would definitely be a possibility amazon going crazy over here cleared another fib level smashed another fib level all i can say is if it wants more upside i have the next level at 198.7 200 and 201.5 those levels clear 203 and 204.3 would definitely be in play if we're going to get bearish we need a false breakout setup all right to put the odds in our favor so support at 197 and 195.3 must fail to possibly give us a move back to the downside okay here is google also going crazy looking bullish if it's if it's pullback time i have support at 185.5 that needs to fail to put 183.3, 182, and 180 back in play. If you clear 187, 189, and new all-time highs would be in play, all right? Netflix is bouncing, retesting the sell zone, all right? That sell zone being 287.5 to the 2, uh, excuse me, 687.5 to the 688 zone, sell zone. And if it can clear... 690 or higher would definitely be in play okay we're gonna favor a pullback like i said we need a false breakout setup to put the odds in our favor and support is that from here is at 684.5 and 683 those levels fail look too short all right guys here's meta you guys like meta it just cleared a fib level today which is at 519 all right, so as long as above 519, we're bullish because it keeps it in breakout mode. Next resistant is at 521 and 522.3. If those levels clear, bullish 525 or higher would be in play, okay? Don't get bearish unless we break down 519 and 517, all right, guys? Uh, 
let's take a look at dog pool for some reason i'm, I'm getting the craving for ice cream anyways 60 percent of activity excuse me 50 percent of activity came in at 546.32 was 1.3 billion in premium and then 545.63 had 1.2 billion in premium around that zone and those levels is where big money is parking their money i don't know what their intentions are but that's where it is now let's take a look at the flows and it's bearish spy is bearish triple q is bullish tesla is bullish nvda is bullish Apple is bullish. AMD is bullish. Amazon is but a lot of bullish across the board. Google is bullish. Netflix is bullish and Meta oh it malfunctioned. We were almost there. But hey, Uncle had to pay for these information. You guys got it for free, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys found value in this video. Peace.